There is an old Arabian legend that speaks of a cave of wonders. In this cave are countless treasures. For each man, there is one artifact that will satisfy all of his earthly desires. Everything else is distraction. If you pick the right thing, you will be at peace. If you pick the wrong item, the cave will collapse around you, trapping your soul for eternity. Call me Ishmael. A few years ago, never mind how long exactly, with no money in my pocket and with nothing in particular interesting me at home, I thought I would venture into the more exciting realm of the world. Whenever I find myself growing grim about the mouth, whenever it is a damp, drizzly November in my soul, whenever I find myself involuntarily pausing before coffin warehouses and bringing up the rear of every funeral I meet, I count it high time to seek adventure as soon as I can. With a philosophical flourish, Cato throws himself upon his sword. I quietly take to my friend Queequeg. While the common man sits at his desk day after day, Queequeg makes his living on the edge, claiming bounties. He told me of a job led by a man named Ahab. I readily joined, hoping to escape the mundane drivel of my everyday life. gentlemen glad to see you both can make it now I'm sure you know that we're here for a very serious purpose to catch a certain criminal and kill him now Ahab is the one who's assembled all of us together here we're gonna be meeting him tomorrow morning he's intent on getting this guy and he'll go to any lengths to make it happen you have to understand that we're all risking our lives. Be prepared tomorrow to meet the captain and cooperate with him completely. Be on point tomorrow. Ahab's not going to take any shit from anybody. Let me take this time to talk about the color white. Quite often the heroic figure in a children's story is the white knight or the white wizard. When Christians sit down to pray, the images of the pearly gates of heaven and the white purity of the Lord commonly pass through their mind. It is not always so in the real world. There is a more sinister side to this seemingly innocent color. I will always associate this color with the menacing visage of our deadly enemy. As I look at the white steeples of a church, I see before me the blood-stained figure that defines my past.
good to see that you all came here. Now let's get right down to business. Everybody raise their right hand. So powerfully did the whole grim aspect of Ahab affect me, and the livid brand which streaked it, that for the first few moments I hardly noted the severity of the oath which I was repeating, pledging my soul to the daunting task of killing the man they know as Moby Dick. Never before had I seen such a gruesome act. It showed such blatant disregard to the code of humanity. Later that evening, I spied Ahab taking the poor specimen aside. <sighs> now tell me. What did he say to you? Tell me, what did he say? How could he say anything? He said a lot of things. What, what did he do to you? He didn't do anything to me. He killed Pip. Who's Pip? He killed Pip. I knew Pip well. Who's Pip? Tell me who Pip is. If you see Pip on the island where the trees grow tall, tell me he's a coward. He didn't even do anything. He just let him have his way. Didn't struggle, he just killed Pip. Pip's gone. Pip's a cow. I got no pity for cow. What are you talking about? Pip's dead. Who's Pip? I knew him well. Pip's dead, but I knew him well. He's gone now. Who's Pip? The man said you'd remember. He said you knew it well. He said you'd remember. You'd remember. You'd remember. Remember. Perhaps you've gone crazy, Pip. Maybe Ahab has too. But you're gonna stay here where at least I know you're safe. I have to go get that. Son of a bitch. Men! This is Fadala. He'll be accompanying us on our mission today. He'll be riding with me. Fadala, go to the car. I talked to Pip the other night. There was something he said. I have a feeling I know where he's going to be. Fadala's a pretty damn good shot. This is our chance, men. I've been after this guy for many years. We finally have him within our reach. You are the fortunate souls who get to accompany me to take him down. Lucky us. I don't need smart-ass comments, especially from you. You of all people should know how serious this is. I don't need that bad attitude rubbing off on everyone else. 
Now, we have 15 minutes. I suggest you all get ready. Are there any questions? You heard a trip from the captain. Just do your jobs, be careful, and pray to God that this all goes smoothly. Let's get ready. Come on out, you bastard! I'm here for you!
He's getting away. Everyone was mortified by the death of our short-lived companion, and our misery was only amplified by the fact that we failed to meet our objective. Starbuck met with the captain that night to discuss possible alternatives to the plan. Ahab, can I have a word? Now, after today, the men are exhausted. After seeing what happened to Fadala, they're afraid for their own lives. You... You can't go on with this madness. You can't expect them to go back out there today. Perhaps you're right. Maybe we'll all die. But just as there is one Lord over this earth, there's only one leader of this group. So remember your place and be gone! All I'm saying is, don't expect this all to work out perfectly. Don't worry about me. Beware of yourself, Ahab. It is now necessary to explain to you the history of that murderous monster against whom I and all the others had taken our oaths of violence and revenge. For some time past, though intervals only, the unaccompanied, secluded white male had haunted those uncivilized forests, mostly frequented by lumberjacks and hunters. Sickened by an unnatural bloodlust, this beast of a human took every chance he had to defile human life. Those hunters who by accident ignorantly gave battle to Moby Dick, such hunters perhaps for the most part were content to ascribe the peculiar terror he bred. The growing tales of the creature led Ahab's disastrous encounter with him, to be popularly regarded. Rumors of all sorts failed to exaggerate, but still the more horrified the true histories of these deadly encounters. Though I do not know the whole story, it is apparent that Ahab was the only survivor of his last mission. All right, men. We have to give it one last shot. One, one more try. We're putting everything on the line this time. You're tired. You're angry. You're weak. I can see that. But you've stuck with me for two straight days. Two long days. Just stay with me a little while longer, boys. We're closer than I've ever been before. So close that I can taste it. I can feel. I can, I can feel it by God. I know it's, it's going to happen. I know we're going to get it. Let's just go.
feel right about this. Don't worry. Just kill the best and he us over. As long as he doesn't kill all of us first. Now what? Will you silence your indefatigable jabbering? Come on. Get down! And then came the rain.
for a while it's outer space with no stars in it. Cold, black, and bottomless. I tumble, weightless as a ghost. For a while I've got no brain and no body. Then the broken bits start with their nagging, and I'm thrust back into consciousness. children, she found another orphan. 